Morning guys, welcome to another uh, four mile training run early morning, half past six. It's not raining and it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be today as well, which is nice. But we do have nature's resistance training today, quite a bit of wind about, so that should uh, mean we're uh, increasing the effort slightly. It's a four mile training run today. It was going to be uh, a full 10k, a full six miles, but I had a back problem this morning. Couldn't get it out of bed. So I had a lie in. Oops. But hey, we're going out and we'll get this four miles done. It's the normal loop, it's the one I've shown you before. So maybe we'll see if we can find some different highlights for you. So we've got the virtual London Marathon coming up on the 4th of October. We've mapped out a 26.2 mile route. And we'll share that with you as we get a bit closer to the day. So we are still training for marathons, even though we're not running a proper full big get together. So this week, as you know, if you've been uh, watching the videos, Monday we had a rest day. Tuesday was four miles. Wednesday was just over five miles. Thursday, I took as a rest day. I'm running today, Friday, for just doing about, say, just over four miles. And then Saturday, I'm going to take Saturday off because on Sunday, I'm actually looking to do about a 20 mile long run. So I want to hit that as fresh as I can. Hence these two rest days that I've had this week. So we're just keeping in trim, keeping fit, keeping the legs moving today with this four miler. But we are trying to conserve uh, energy for doing that 20 miles on Sunday. I haven't decided on the route yet for Sunday. I think it's going to depend on the weather forecast. I don't know if you're the same, but when planning a route, I often go off what the weather's going to say. So if it's raining or windy or generally a crappy day, I tend to keep the routes local to home. But if it's a nicer day, I might wander further afield. But the forecast for Sunday so far is rain. So I might be running 21 mile loops around the house yet. We'll wait and see, see how that pans out. I'll ask you a quick question about Strava. I'm going away for a weekend very soon, but obviously want to keep the running going while we're away on holiday. Not well, holiday, just a couple of days away. So I'm planning on using uh, Strava for the route planning. Because I've got the full membership, got the full package, it allows you to see local routes. Now, have you used that? Is it any good? And were the routes all right? If so, can you let me know in the comments below? So if you've used Strava for route planning, when you've got somewhere that you don't normally run, does it actually work and does it work well? Please let me know in the comments below. It might only be a quick four mile loop around the lanes near where I live, but there's so much elevation gain on them, it's unreal. Up and down, up and down, up and down. So resistance training from the wind and undulations as well. So there you have it. Just a very short video of a four mile loop that I've shown you before anyway. So I don't really want to repeat just the same scenery. But I like taking you along for the ride anyway. So Strava ladies just said I've done four miles in 33 minutes, which I'm happy about. Oh, I forgot to tell you, because I know you're interested. The shoes I'm wearing today are Nimbus Gels from Asics. These are variant 20, 
and they were actually the London Marathon ones from 2018. I've got just short of 700 miles on them and they are so comfy. Still plenty of bounce after so many miles. Really impressed with these shoes. So that's it from today's uh, short run. Bit of a short video, as I say. But I really do need to know about Strava. Have you got the paid version? Have you used the local maps for finding new routes to run? <coughs> Please let me know about your experiences below. Your input would be greatly appreciated. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that orange button below. Turn on the bell notifications. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, that would be brilliant. So until next time, let's get running. <laughs>